Hey, hey, hey. How is everyone doing today? You here with your girl Mimi. Okay. Um, today is 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay. It is the Lions Gate Portal. Okay, and let me show you guys something. We have eight here with the strength, and we have the star right beneath it, which is 17. It still breaks down to number eight. That is eight, eight for you, okay? Some of you guys definitely are healing yourself, okay? Finding the strength to heal yourself. <clears throat> now, um, please like, share, and subscribe, okay, guys? Let's get this video out, I hope, especially for the ones that may resonate with this video. I'm doing a little twist today, okay? Just want to let you guys know. Um, but for the ones that definitely resonate with this video, let's like it, let's comment, let's um, subscribe, okay? And turn the notification bell button so that you know when I do upload. But this is um, a little special, okay? Today is 8-8. Today is actually my anniversary. Um, and this is my first year without my partner on my anniversary. He's not dead, y'all, okay? He's not uh, we're just not together and it's it's bittersweet it's actually like a little sad for me but i'm actually like i like what is saying here like i'm definitely healing my strength okay definitely healing my strength finding the strength to heal myself and all that stuff so i decided you know what let let me do a video okay i'm gonna bunch the signs together so i'm gonna do like the air signs the earth signs water fire and um, i'm gonna start off with the air signs okay Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, and we're just gonna see what your partner want to say to you. This could be past, present, or future, okay? Definitely put yourself where you see fit and hopefully resonate with this reading, but if it doesn't resonate with you, that's just what it is, all right? We have, no matter how hard this is, I will make it work. Yeah, so somebody could be feeling like they're going through like a lot of tough times right now. Just feel like they have to heal this connection, okay? This connection could be very strong, okay? I can only love myself at the moment. Yeah, somebody definitely don't, they want to make it work, but they have to give to themselves, okay? You can't truly really love somebody until you actually love yourself. That's one thing I definitely learned. I want to live life with you. You see? They want to, but how could they do that? They don't work on their downfalls. They don't work on their problems. You make me weak, okay? Somebody definitely felt like they weak in the knees for you because right now I'm hearing that song, weak in the knees. <laughs> I, it's an old school song. I don't even know who sings that. You guys can let me know down below in the comments. Like, who sings that? Uh, it's an old school song. Definitely, I'm definitely thinking of straight out of Compton because that's where I heard the song at. Um, I'm trusting you. Don't make me look bad, okay? Somebody wants to trust you, okay? They know that they have to work on themselves first. And you. Um, this could be you or your person, okay? And I feel like, you know, it's a lot of conflicting energy here because it's like, they want to make it work. They want to live life with you, but they can only love themselves. And they know that they have a weak spot for you and they trying to trust you. And they don't, and some, or, or you could feel like you want to trust them and you don't want someone to make you look bad. And it's like, I'm upset. It's crazy alert. So you make this person crazy. This person makes you crazy. You know, this is why it's like, oh, you make me weak. Oh, look, I'll always love you, Whitney Houston. I don't know, some of you guys could just like be at some type of separation right now. And it's like, there's something, there's something here where it's like some of you guys could be in some sort of separation where you guys really love each other, but it's like you probably can't be together. Stop lying, I wasn't born yesterday. Yeah, somebody could have been calling somebody a liar or maybe that's somebody's downfall that they lie so much and they know they have to hit that situation with themselves and we have i only care about work love not on the menu they know that i feel like somebody is definitely just working on themselves okay they can't really love you can't love somebody until you love yourself so 
right now they work they working they someone could be working very endlessly trying to work on themselves and they just don't feel confident in love right now they don't feel confident in it but they know they want to be with you they know that they never met someone like you we're gonna pull some tarot see how your person feels or some extra mess yeah they want like i said they want to work with you they want to reunite with you with the three of cups they want you guys to be together they want to celebrate with you but wow look at this yeah like i look we have the nine of wands the queen of swords and the moon of reverse like it's like somebody has somebody here could have been like really hurt badly right because the nine of wands is like the wounded warrior like they could have had like just oh it's a lot of secrets a lot of things being hidden here and a lot of manipulation with the moon of reverse and they could have came out okay these lies and stuff like that could have came out and someone is you know wounded by it wounded by these lies wounded by there's some deception here definitely some deception here you could have lived with this person okay you could have been committed to this person in the relationship or could have um you've been married to this person okay but with the four wands it's like they could also want to reconnect like i said you have the three of cups and the four of wands they know they know they hurt you they know that there is something here somebody just don't feel like they want they need they, they want emotions yeah this came on a challenging position someone feels like they don't know if they should come towards you or not but look we have the empress at the bottom okay so someone definitely know that you're it you're the one like you're the empress or you could be feeling like this for someone else but it's like <laughs> the decisions that they made okay it's not it's not the best decision here okay some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign another air sign or a fire sign possibly a taurus as well but like I said, some I only care about work, love now on the menu. Like somebody is definitely working on themselves and working on just working, okay? Loving, but you know, rather focus on work right now. We're gonna get some moon cards, see what our spirit wants you to know. My Aquarius, Gemini, and Libras. What else the spirit wants you to know? Balance, spirituality, and practicality for Moon and Pisces. Yeah, like I said, like there's a there's a, someone that's trying to create some type of harmony, some type of balance here. And they know that they love you, but they also know that there's a lot of work that they need to put in, into themselves. Okay, someone could be becoming more spiritual at this moment. Okay, um, it's a it's a it's a duality at this point. It's it's a do it's 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 like two trying to you know two things at once okay. Maybe someone feels like they can't really work on love until they work on until they work is situated, but they know that they love you. This could be you. Believe in the impossible, okay, Blue Moon. <sighs> Maybe this person wants you to believe what you know. You feel like you know, like, stop lying. I wasn't born yesterday. Like, they want you to believe something here. Someone could have been lying. All right, somebody is definitely dealing with Pisces here. <laughs> we got meditating, contemplating, new moon, and Pisces. Yeah, like, it's definitely something that was hidden. It's like, um, maybe this is like a situation where, like, somebody knows, somebody knows that someone is such a liar. And it's like you don't believe this person what this person is saying because you know them to be a liar but maybe they could be actually telling the truth so you're like that's impossible i don't believe you but you know this is what happens when you lie so much when it comes time to tell the truth then you're not going to be believable a time for healing what did i say definitely a time for healing okay the answers you need are coming yeah because there's something 
like I said, like you know that someone could have been lying about something. There's something not believable, or I don't know. This is Gemini too, okay. I'll take this one. A new romantic cycle begins, okay. This could be with someone in the future. This could be with someone that you at present, or this could be someone that you probably left out in the past, right? All right, we're gonna leave it at that. Take time to breathe out, okay? Decimating moon, all right? Well, there's a lot of healing work that is being done. So just believe in that. Just believe that this, you know, everything is gonna work out in your favor. Like, don't worry. Everything's going to work out in your favor. If you haven't believed it or you feel like, you know, you know, no, I don't believe you. Hydrate. Okay, yeah, some of you definitely could be dealing with a water sign. Look, sink with the moon. Possibly um, a Cancer. Oh, of course, a Pisces. But, you know, water is significant here. Plan a vacation. Yeah, some of you guys are planning something, okay? We have music here. Flow like water. I'm telling you, water is significant. Water is definitely significant. And I feel like a, this is an air sign reading, right? So, and it's telling you to flow like water. And you know that air pushes water. Like, if the air is, is, is the winds are strong right it can control the way the water flows and at this point i don't know if you guys need to be strong enough to you know deal with the currents or make the currents go i don't know if that makes sense to y'all but it makes sense to me we have uh positive affirmations so i do definitely feel like some of you guys need to focus on being more positive you know, definitely hydrate yourself, uh, sync with yourself, um, listen to music, and or maybe some of you guys could be planning a vacation to go somewhere, you know, just to get a lot off your mind, okay? I definitely see that some of you guys could be swimming, taking a swim, taking a dive. That's how you connect with your innermost self at the moment. And we also have family. So yeah, some of you guys could be going somewhere with your family, traveling. Um, number 27, 51, 39, 37, 24, or 41 could be significant for you, okay? All right. This is for my air signs. All right. Now, next, I am going to do my earth signs. Let's see what your person, past, present, or future wants to tell you. Let's see what your person wants to tell you. Okay, sir, please give me some clear messages from my earth sign. Thank you. We have, I don't want to move on, but I have to be happy. Wow, okay. Yeah, somebody is definitely, like I said, somebody is, is fine, trying to find the strength to heal themselves or find the courage, heal themselves to be uh, courageous enough, uh, enough to do what is it that they need to do. Stop lying on the board yesterday. Someone feels like somebody here is a liar. Definitely could be connecting with an air sign. Only wants to see you fail. Wow, okay, so... You could have been with somebody that you knew wasn't really supportive of you, okay? They never really wanted you to progress. They always wanted to, to see you go backwards. I keep texting you, but you're not answering. Yeah, somebody is like, oh, I know you doing something. I keep texting you. Stop lying. I know you was on the phone. I know you seen my text. <laughs> I have trust issues. I don't want to do that again. Yeah, somebody has trust issues. I only care about work. Love not on the menu. And tell me, some of you guys definitely can be dealing with an air sign. All 
I'm doing my best to make you happy. Yeah, somebody definitely feel like they was doing their best. And it was like, I knew it. That's why I trust myself. Yeah, somebody could have been caught. Somebody could have been caught in something. And somebody, you know, just felt like they were doing their best to make you happy. And somebody's really hard to make happy. I don't think that uh, some people are hard to make happy. I think people are just really selfish enough to not make the proper sacrifices to make somebody happy. And we have, I want to live life with you. You know, someone here could be wanting to live life with someone here. But then they know, you know, they know they fucked up. <laughs> they fucked up. I'm telling you, this lion's gate is definitely giving people the strength. And, um, you know, if you are... Listen, use this time. And I know it's too late to say this because it's like the lion's gate already is about to be over. But it's like... At the end of the day, the portal doesn't like fully... The 8-8 eight, eight is the most powerful day, but it doesn't fully close until the 12th, right? So, just use this time. Ooh. Some of you guys could be having a lot going on. Um, but use this time to definitely manifest where you want your life to go. How you want your life to be. Okay. Wow. Somebody here could have been just feeling like somebody is not cooperating with someone. Someone is not trying to, yeah, somebody is not trying to work with someone. Someone could feel like they took a loss or they don't want to, you know, like it's just like an unfortunate situation here. Wow, these cards want to come out, but they ain't coming out. Somebody could have been working on something that didn't go in their favor. Yeah with the sun in reverse the sun in reverse is giving me like the moon vibes and it's like there's something that's being hidden here yeah being hidden i'm telling you the high priestess okay she actually came out in a challenging position but it's like should i tell him or should i not should i tell him the truth should i not because you know the high priestess is quiet she keeps things to herself okay you already got three major uncommons could be dealing with a leo or a pisces or just somebody who's highly intuitive. And somebody could be hiding something when it comes to work. Yeah. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. I definitely, when I get this Four of Cups, I'm, I'm only in this deck. You know, this person is trying to cover up the rose. It's like they're trying to hide maybe another person. And, and if you're going through this, I'm really sorry that you're going through this. But I definitely get somebody is waiting for the truth to come out, things to be revealed. Okay, it's like it's a waiting energy at this at this moment right now. Somebody could just be waiting to see you fail at something. Okay, your hard work is paying off. Some of you guys are working really hard to wow look. I'm telling you, some of you guys is dealing with the air sign, bring love into the situation. Some of you guys is working really hard, right? We got new moon in Capricorn, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. But, you know, but whatever it is that you're working on, it may not have went in your favor, but you're working hard, right? And it's going to, I feel like it's going to pay off good for you right now. And some of you guys could definitely just be overworking, Wait, this is why someone feels like I only care about work, love not on the menu. This would be you or your person. Definitely put yourself where you see fit. You have conclusions all within reach. Yeah, so with, within time, there's something. It's like um, a solution. Or it could even be a conclusion. But possibly in this next full moon, it's coming on the 11th. So. But it's, yeah. We have a win-win outcome as forecast. Yeah. I'm telling you. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay. We got full moon in Libra. New moon in Cancer. I'm telling you, some of you guys definitely could be dealing with an air sign. Or someone who has a highly aspected. Possibly um, a Cancer, of course. And expect powerful change. Yeah. 
So whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're not saying, you are definitely, it, it, I feel like some of you guys could have been just feeling like um, the opposite end of fortune. And I feel like it's, you know, because I, I noticed that all these cards came out in reverse. But I feel like that's going to, it's going to be a change. It's going to be a definitely a powerful change. What do you need to release? at the bottom so it's like some of you guys need to release something here something that doesn't serve your highest good because obviously somebody doesn't want you to win somebody doesn't want you to fail they could have been holding you back holding you back from your full potential holding you back from shit look we have sex okay I just heard sex worker. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea. Look for the fairies. Okay, so definitely some of you guys could be making a wish. Wishing maybe that someone have sex with you. Or wishing that someone doesn't have sex. I don't know. Spend time with friends. Okay, some of you guys definitely are uh, spending time with your friends. And, you know just healing yourself if that heals you if that makes you feel good okay definitely do that we have make an altar so some reason, i'm getting that some of you guys just need to pray more or need to oh man let me get this card hold on what do we have plan a vacation that I'm, I just got like day trip like I don't know if some of you guys are going like on, a, on a day trip or planning I don't know maybe like a date or something like that I don't know I'm getting I feel like you know some of you guys are dealing with somebody but some of you, some of you are gonna meet someone new pleasure oh right behind it we have connect with your womb yeah, some of you guys are pleasuring yourself. Probably not <laughs> connecting with someone else, but connecting with yourself. Okay, maybe you feel like you have to give up sex with someone and just focus on yourself and pleasure yourself right now. Could be wishing that maybe you're planning like a little date with somebody. It's going to bring you a lot of pleasure. Maybe this person is going to pleasure you. You definitely put yourself where you see fit. But at this point, I'm getting that some of you guys need to relax, you know, because there's a lot of overwork that's being done here. It's a lot. All right, my earth signs. That's what I have for you today. We're going to move on to the next sign. Or the next set of signs. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go to my water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. Scorpio. See what spirit wants you to know about your person, past, present, future. Can we go out on a date? All right, somebody could begin to ask out on a date. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I love you. Oh, this could be somebody that loves you or want to tell you that they love you. I can't help myself. Yeah, somebody can't help how they feel about you. They can't help that they have these emotions for you. But they know stability is their main focus. Maybe they feel like you bring them focus. All right, when I got I'm I'm obsessed, crazy alert. I feel like this is like neither you or the person that you could be connecting with, past, present, future, remember? I feel like I, I got karmic energy from this. I'm obsessed, crazy alert. Like somebody could just have an obsessed, crazy person. Yeah, and somebody isn't, they're not answering this. 
it's karmic. Like I'm getting karmic energy. I keep texting you, but you're not answering. It's hard to make a decision. Yeah. Somebody has a decision to make. They don't know if they want to, you know, go on to new or go on to old. All right. This is my Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you guys are dealing with um, an earth sign. I'm definitely getting that. No matter how hard this is, I will make it work. They know that they have a karmic and a background, but they also know that how they feel about you and they want to they definitely want to reconnect okay this is a past person i'm getting because like i try reaching out but i can't <laughs> either somebody's really scared to reach out or scared to tell you how they feel scared to you know because they know that there's some there's someone they could be like controlling their actions right now I just got like um, a fire sign. So maybe some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign. Probably not an earth sign, probably a fire sign. Maybe that the person that you're, dealing, that you're dealing with is dealing with a fire sign. You know. Yeah, somebody's definitely trying to walk away from the situation. Hmm. Let's pull some tarot. I'm telling you, this person experienced a tower moment okay possibly a, a scorpio whether this is you watching or an aries that fire sign i'm telling you about um and i definitely feel like somebody knows they, they can't really reach out they can't really it's something here so i feel like somebody's know they, that they've been watched okay they know that they have like some karmic in the background what the hell Like this person ha kind of has no choice. I don't know why I'm getting like a mother figure. I don't know if it's a mother figure, a baby mother, some sort of mother figure here. This person can live with that person. They have no choice but to cooperate with that person. They have to give to that person. Yeah, they have some type of higher commitment with that person. Could be a Taurus. Okay. Yeah, they, they probably live with this person, okay? They're probably married to this person. Or maybe the person that wants to reach out to you is someone that you're married to, or someone who you have this higher commitment with. You could even possibly work with this person, but it, it's something with this tower here, okay? There's a reason why they, they can't really give to this person, to you, but they have to give to this person. Yeah, they're making a decision. I'm telling you, it's hard to make a decision. This is why judgment came out in the challenging position. They don't know what they want. They 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 trying to juggle the two. They don't know what they want. I'm telling you that right now. They don't know what they want. They committed to their work though. I know that. What do you need to release? All right. All right. Yes. They're trying to release what they know is not good for them. But let me tell you something about being in a situation with a karmic. Um, usually it's toxic. And toxic is hard to release. Sometimes toxic makes you feel good. Because those highs is high. Even though those lows is low. Okay, the answers that you need are coming for more than Gemini. I mean, guys could be dealing with a Gemini. But it's like um, the end of a tough cycle. But yeah, somebody is definitely ending something. Or at least they're trying to and they're trying to release something. And they could be trying to, like I said, they try to reach out. They try reaching out, but they can't. But I can't. You're going to know about this soon. Somebody's going to come and tell you. They're going to tell you about something here yeah they surrender to the divine they're gonna surrender they're gonna give you they're gonna tell you, they're gonna tell it all that's what i'm doing they just 
don't want to say it the wrong way. That's what I'm getting. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. We're getting a lot of full moons here. All of these cards are full moons. So this could be happening during the full moon. <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. Somebody wants to give you love is what I'm getting. And this is hidden. This is hidden. Okay. This could be a loved one. This could be a past relationship. This could be somebody you really want, you want to really connect with, but this person can't really connect with you because of the situation that they're... <clears throat> I don't even know if you guys can hear me because I feel like I'm just talking about... I said this could be a loved one. This could be like a new situation or a past situation, but I'm definitely getting that like somebody definitely wants something to end here and they're going to surrender to the situation and somebody wants to they're gonna reach out okay so expect communication that's that for sure it's just it's just uh in the mind you know you know gemini rules um communication so and aquarius rules when you know like the mental space you know they want to make sure that they do it they do something here the right way they know that you're good enough this could be you or the person you can know that they're good enough and maybe they know that you're good enough but right now okay if someone has a family with someone they have to make sure that that's copacetic before they move forward is what i'm getting let's get some self-care cards make a meal all right be aware of someone making stories up is what i'm getting they're trying to feed you good shit. Or maybe somebody could be coming to, you know, feed you good shit. Some of you guys could be having to watch what is it that you put into your body. Make sure you're eating healthy. Connect with your ancestors. I'm getting, like, your intuition here. Like, a vision board. Yeah. So, it's, like, the, your intuition. Uh, some of you guys already know. Anyway, you kind of already know the situation. Or definitely focus on where you want to go. Where do you want to go? What do you want in life? Like, who? What is good for you? You know, is what I'm getting here. And with this, connect with the ancestors. I'm looking at this tree here. It's giving me, like, the tree of life. You know what I mean? So, it's like um, someone just feels like, you know, they being pulled in many different directions. But they have, like, these strong foundations that they already set for themselves. You have deep breathing, all right? Definitely, like like I said, the mental and the communication, I'm definitely getting mental here. It could be like spiraling out of control. And somebody just needs to really center themselves. This could be you or your person. We have soak in a bath, okay? So, what? What did I say? I said your intuition here. Yeah. This said connect with the ancestors, but I, I felt intuition, okay? You see how it's like make a meal, 32, 33 could be significant, 46, soaking a bath. This is like your, this is like yourself here. Like what you put in your, in your body, where do you see yourself? And just making sure you take care of y yourself, like, um, the soak in the bath I'm getting like spiritual cleansing like you know release like those negatives but just release anything negative from around you in or around you all right where do you see yourself where do you want to go how do you want to feel okay and we got to connect with the ancestors 14 19 deep breathing and 28 intuition so yeah, i was already getting the intuition part because it's like don't let your mind spiral out of control it could like kind of disconnect you from what your mind is already telling you yeah look at that at the bottom flow like water yeah because you know pisces cancer scorpio you we we okay we are very intuitive okay but sometimes um, 
our intuition could get blocked so we have to like kind of connect with the ancestors or just ground ourselves root ourselves like with the tree of life here you know our inner selves at that so that we can flow more naturally so that the intuition and the answer can come to you more naturally okay all right that's what i have for you my water signs and next we're going to do my fire signs yes person wants to tell you past present or future i don't care what anyone has to say you're it for me okay i'm telling you my fire signs you guys go for what you want i did you wrong you did me wrong pleasure p okay so i feel like someone could have been telling somebody like no this person did that to you this is to be like maybe we both did shit to each other we both did shit to each other it's hard to make a decision I don't feel like this person think it's hard to make a decision. It's more like it's hard. It's hard to let people know what it is because they don't want to be judged by the people around them. You make me weak. Yeah, someone feels like you know. Oh, look! You make me weak, and you repulse me. Yuck. Yeah, somebody feels like somebody is weak for somebody and somebody feels like Nah, I feel like somebody is 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 split between the you know, I know I wanna be with you, but then it's like mm, like what you did, ugh. You know, but I'm weak for you. I'm weak for you. I don't wanna move on, but I have to be happy. Yeah. Oh man. Can we go on a date? Somebody could be asking somebody else on a date. I always love you, Whitney Houston. Maybe somebody wants to, you know. I feel like uh, they maybe somebody wants to give one more shot at something here. I wish I didn't say or do that. Yeah. I'm definitely getting like somebody is repulsed by themselves, by what they've done. I feel like somebody had a moment of weakness here. Yeah. <sighs> Fire signs. Some of you guys could be dealing with a, a high priestess. But I feel like this person knows the they know they know the bullshit. Okay. They know what's being hidden here. Lines. Somebody will always love somebody, but somebody is like not doing that again. And somebody will always love somebody, and somebody is being pushed away by someone else. And they want to try again. They want you to know that you both did each other wrong. Yeah, they know that there's a lot of unhealed wounds here with the star in reverse. Okay, they know that maybe somebody needs to. I feel like somebody's health is not right right now. Though. And somebody could be afraid that somebody's gonna be like, nah, nope. All right, justice is being served though, okay? Somebody could be uh, connecting with an air sign, Aquarius, possibly a Libra. But it's like, something about somebody health here. I don't know, maybe this somebody's trying to get their health right. Yeah, they waiting for the right time. They waiting for, 
<sighs> yeah, somebody here just had too many options. Somebody could be turning their back on someone for options here. Yeah, they drop in, or maybe somebody could be dropping their options, you know, not no longer wanting to. Yeah, somebody did, somebody did something foolish here. They wish they didn't do something here. I'm telling you that right now. Because whatever they done, it fucked them up. And now justice is being served, okay? Damn. I don't know. I feel, I, I feel sad right now for this person here. All right. Like somebody's asking somebody like can we just be friends can we go on a date can we just be friends show the world the real you for moon and aquarius something's might be done with an aquarius it's time to release negativity for moon and scorpio yeah somebody is trying to leave a toxic situation for something that is better for them have faith in your dreams okay with all this purple here i'm definitely getting you know the third eye chakra is like like i said before somebody knows somebody's secret here your hard work is paying off but yes yeah, some of you guys have maybe had to release someone so that you can fulfill whatever dreams that you want for yourself. The moon and Capricorn. Some of you guys have been with a Capricorn. It's time to take action. Yeah, it's time to take action for what is it that you really want in life. And don't be afraid to release something that wasn't working for you because something else is working for you and you get to probably be your most truest self. Okay. <clears throat> You'll always love somebody, but it ain't working. You got to look at the bigger picture. It ain't working for you. It's not, you know, don't let pride get in your way for one and Leo. All right, we got all the fire signs coming out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's what's up. But, yeah. I'm definitely getting like a... A bittersweet situation here. It's kind of, it's kind of sad. You have to, you have to um, take action towards um, something that is gonna be better for you. Okay, yeah. Somebody, some of you guys is in a resting period before you release. All right, with this thing, it's giving me. All right, we really wanted to come out. I was gonna put you back, but I guess it really wants to come out. Um, you know, resting, getting your rest up, healing yourself is what I'm getting. Forty three could be significant. Forty five, sing. Maybe some some guys throw chakra could have been blocked. You know, communication. Sync with the moon. Take a walk. I'm definitely getting like some of you guys could be having to. Possibly connecting with a cancer. All right, I'll have that in your birth chart. But I'm getting like, you know, some of you guys are going down a new path, okay? Something that makes you feel more content with yourself. You know, create art. 51, 52, 17, or 23 could be significant. Some of you guys are creating something, or some of you guys are artists, or could be connecting with somebody who is an artist, okay? And this could be like your new found family, okay? You're going down a new path of a new found family that is, mm, this kind of sucks for some, for, for the other person that probably still was hoping and wishing for you, but it's good for you because you have to do what's best for you, always do what's best for you, okay?
Yeah. I definitely see you guys healing a situation with the family, though. Some sort of family dynamic. You guys are going to be healing with that. And you have drink tea, number 21. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting, like, just balance yourself out with this drink tea. I'm getting meditate, connect with crystals right now. Like, just go within and sit with yourself, okay? I'm getting a lot of that. A lot of that. A lot of inner healing you know whatever whatever it is that you put in your body you know just healing yourself and resting and you know what I mean wow I don't I'm just getting like a, such a sad vibe right now the fire signs I don't know why but my heart just feels so heavy right now it's just so heavy all right Whew. Alright, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. This was a, a special, okay? And let me know if you guys want me to keep doing this. I do not mind, okay? I want to know. I know. I want to know what you. I want to know what makes you smile. That's why Joe. I don't know if he have a last name, but. So I could be the one who always make you smile. Yeah, some of you guys could be connecting with somebody that just want to make you happy. Just They want to know what turns you off. They want to know what makes you unhappy or what makes you happy so they can always be the one to make you happy. I want to know. I like to know. <laughs> All right, let me close this out. Thank you guys for being here with your girl Mimi. Okay, please like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want to reach out to me for any reason, okay, my information is down below in the description box. And I love you guys. I love you guys so much, okay? Let me know how you feel about the reading. Um, let me know your situation. If this is you, let me know. And, yeah, I will see you guys next time, okay? Love, 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 love. Give love and you shall receive love. Okay, and always be your truest self and make sure you are always healing yourself. Okay, and healing does, it, it is a process. It is a work, okay.